The sixth level of development, those very… We again go back to our favorite Anunnaki. So, these are not quite material beings, in our understanding. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Thus they can, for instance, it is said, can they settle in people? Of course they can, easily, why not? And what's the difference? After all, consciousness can settle in. Again, if we take religion, demons settle in and so on, but if demons settle in, why cannot something good settle in? A simple question, friends. Why? Well, that's it, even religious scholars won't be able to argue. Since something bad settles in, hence something good also can, people will say, oh no, something good cannot. Yet what about the Holy Spirit? Doesn't He come in excess to those whose door is open? I mean the gate of a person's soul. Isn't that right? They can. Well, those who deal with repair and maintenance of this world, meaning those who… Imagine a whole race that serves the spiritual world, they consciously serve. They simply have such a job. They're actually in close contact with the spiritual world. Certainly, their capabilities are enormous, like your abilities too. Now, I will show you an example of how it works. Imagine that to your… on the chamomile that you thought up, to your buck, to your ladybug, who came to visit it, let us… who came to visit it? A beetle. <laughs> okay, a beetle came to visit it. Have you imagined? Describe the beetle. It is black. Small. It has six legs and an elongated body. A small, black, elongated, six-legged beetle. So, friends, have you imagined it? You have. Look, she has just created it, so easily and simply. But her abilities are sufficient to create it in her head. Our mirror neurons have worked, and we've created it in our heads. However, it is one and the same creature, although it can slightly differ owing to our fantasies, but it exists somewhere in a parallel. And now imagine a whole race that can create worlds like these bugs are created. Not to create, but to repair them, to repair, to maintain, to beget stars where it is necessary according to the plan of the spiritual world. There is a general engineer who decided, let it be, just like Tatiana, let it be, yes? Well, there are those who bring in… In this case, I acted as the Anunnaki. Why? I told her, let it come to visit you, let it come… No, this is wrong, I actually acted on the part of the spiritual world. I told her, let it come to visit you, while she, as a representative of the Anunnaki, for example, I'm sorry, she has actually built up that this beetle came to visit a black, elongated one with six legs. Now all of us have to live with this beetle in our heads. Do you see how simple everything is? Of course, what has just been voiced sounds science fictional for people, but people's aspiration to go beyond the sphere and come into contact with the extraterrestrial mind and extraterrestrial civilizations is felt as well. Surely the methods are so far… Wait, to come into contact with… And why not to come into contact with your little beetle that came to visit your ladybug? But how? That's the question. <laughs> and how to come into contact with those ones? As of today, we so far send radio signals into space and communicate that we exist, this is what we are. To whom? So far simply in the direction of galaxies. Guys, doesn't this make you laugh? What is the speed of the radio signal? For how long has the civilization existed which uses radio signals? For 200 years maximum or even less? Isn't that so? For an advanced civilization to receive our radio signal, it would be the same as, I don't know, I will simplify, on your smartphone. Do you receive SMS or telegraph messages sent hundred years ago? No? Why? A simple question. And do you, friends, receive such messages? No? And can you send any message to a telegraph from your smartphone? No? Why? Well, yes, a signal was going through wires, dot and dash and the like. Well, we have smartphones, it is something different. Guys, the radio wave which our television, our gadgets, 
and all the rest uses nowadays is so primitive, so inconvenient, so expensive, and so dirty, I'll tell you the following. It dirties the air and creates a lot of problems, this requires time and technology, it's a very short period in the development of civilization, in fact. Just look, as of today, experiments are already conducted, and quite successfully, on quantum interactions, yes? Everyone heard about that. A little bit of time, and it will become a norm. It's the same as telegraph and the modern gadgets. Will we use radio signals? Of course not. Why? Because this is primitive and inconvenient. Whereas now huge satellite dishes are being set, and we try to pick up a signal. This has to be such a poorly developed civilization as ours. Exactly the same one. They have to send a signal, and we have to pick up this signal. In the same way we send it. So, we have turned on this satellite dish today, yes? Well, the signal was sent yesterday. Or it will be sent after we turn the dish off, tomorrow, let's say. Will we pick it up? This… chances are absolutely zero. Just like for us to be heard, our signal that we send into nowhere, in the same way, there is an absolutely zero chance that we will hear anyone because it's a very short period of time in development, let's say, in the evolution of civilization, because other things are already used. The next stage, yes, these are quantum interactions, then there will be more, there will be other ones. This is developed very fast, with the development of civilization itself. Technologies grow fast as well. At the first stage, we will no longer use what we use nowadays. There's no point in this, it's not interesting and it is wrong.